The Prime Minister also using his COVID-19 update to address the thorny issue of permanent residents being granted a last-minute approval last week to disembark a plane carrying 2,500 double swab diagnostic test kits they donated to the Bahamas. Health Minister the Honourable Dr. Dwayne Sands has taken full responsibility for the incident. The incident, however, has found some calling for his resignation. The protocol for allowing Bahamians and legal residents to enter the country at this time was breached last week. I have now been informed that instead of the stated two permanent residents who were allowed to disembark and remain in the country, that it was actually six permanent residents who are all related. All of these individuals have tested negative for COVID-19 and will remain under a mandatory 14-day quarantine. The Minister of Health will issue a statement. Good news in the case of those citizens and residents hoping to return home. They've been given the green light to do so via New Providence or Grand Bahama unless approved otherwise. Those individuals in these categories are to make contact with the nearest Bahamas embassy or consulate to them. Aircrafts and airlines proposing to carry such individuals are required to make flight applications in the normal course to the Department of Civil Aviation. Each person will be required to obtain a RT-PCR COVID-19 molecular diagnostic test from an accredited lab prior to returning. Unless otherwise approved to have the test administered upon arrival. Now, if you're having a problem obtaining a test, the Prime Minister says the government's willing to help. And all those returning will be required to be quarantined for 14 days in a government quarantine facility or self quarantine. They will also be subject to mandatory quarantine verification monitoring by the Ministry of Health.